welcome you all uh, with this small video clip i'm going to show you how you can download the python and then pycharm and install in your machine for us to do the uh, very first python practicals so first of all just type python download let's say just go off like say windows 10 whatever and then click the very first link that you get from here download python and when you click that just go to the windows there and once you go there just uh, there are so many versions of the python that you can download so uh, you better get little bit older one like you know that not the latest one somewhere here so because these ones are a little bit stable and then go to the python 3.1.3 this particular link and then download the windows install 64 bit so then just download like this uh, that's it so you will get the download file uh, and the second thing what you want to download go back again to google and then here that just type pycharm download go to the pycharm link and then here scroll down a little and then you will come across with the pycharm community edition and then here that it should be the windows version and uh, just select that and then click download right so just click the download button and then a little bit later that you will get that file okay right so then the, that's how you that you want to download those two files and as a next step then once you complete the download go to the python file that you have downloaded and double click this is the first one that you have downloaded right and then you will get a first screens like this and then select this at python.txt to path so then please make sure to click this please make sure to click this and then click install now that's it that's it you just want to select add it to the file path and then click the install now so you don't need to worry about where it's going to install so simply just click on that link and it's going to install to the place where you want it later on that we will uh, learn that to store to install into a particular location but right now just do your installations like this okay so the once installation is completed so you can see a message like this setup was successful and then just classes and the second thing what you have downloaded is pycharm community edition and double click on that asking a destination folder to install the file and then click yes so then here uh, create a desktop shortcut please make sure to select that option and also update path variable please make sure to tick this option so those are the main two things you want to do here and then click next that's all and install to the place that where you want it to install and once it, once it completes so just finish it and uh, it might ask you options like you know reboot now okay of course that you just want to do that uh, but just finish it off like this and once installation is completed then you can see icon like this python community edition so double click on that don't worry much about this ide it is called pycharm and then you will get a screen like this and click on this icon new project icon here for the first time and here simply give a name like let's say 
SDP Software Development Project and Group One. Just give it like that and don't click anywhere else and then click create button. okay so then once you do like that you will get a screen like this under the project and then a screen like this so the very first thing what you just want to do that just right click on there and select new and we'll create a directory uh, and just type it like day 01 because it's going to be the day one and here we are going to add a new file a python file and just type it like this variable uh, we we'll just give a name like this uh, 0 1 it's about the variables right uh, right so that's it and once you type a name like that once you select that file then you will get a screen like this that you can simply type something like this let's say i'm going to type it here as like let's say number equals 10 don't worry that still that you don't know any of these things perhaps some of you might aware about it but not many so once you type it like this just type print don't worry still i didn't explain anything here but once you type it like this just to check that whether your id is working correctly or not right and once you type it like that just select that the file that you have typed and click here run 01 variable and once you do that if you see the output like 10 it means your id is already perfectly set up right so those are the two thing two things that you just want to install uh, that's all and just click on this button and then close it for the time being i just want to show you uh, one more thing here uh, under the group one so here that i'm going to show you uh, the second project that we are going to do the, actually the very first project web design project uh, perhaps last time also you saw this uh, this is what you are going to learn how to develop right so with all these elements step by step from a very basic right so just have a look the about page the features then the screens downloads and then contacts right so this is what you are going to learn as a second project uh, as a first project after you learn about the python uh, the ide uh, the software that you want to develop this particular website I will let you know by the next class day right so then hope you all will join and please download those necess necessary software and then get ready uh, for this amazing journey right thank you so much